Hello, beautiful. I hope you're doing great and I'm sure you know this difference. It's because of lighting. This lighting, you're supposed to be with the makeup on whenever you use them. Without makeup, you're supposed to have a daylight and I don't have it in my studio. So, today I'm going to show you my makeup routine. Easy, kind of every day or most of the time how I feel maybe deal with I don't like to have so much makeup on and I'm not a beauty guru but there are maybe two or two 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 products that I really really want to share with you it's a new it's not sponsor I'd never come across with this product in any social media you know how it's it's just flowing with some kind of beauty products everywhere but this one i've been recommended by doctor cosmetologist dermatologist and he's using it he have beautiful skin and he's using it himself and i love it i've been using it for for maybe a week and a half um because i feel i'm sure i'm not sure if i'm pronouncing it correct because i feel modifying acne moisturizer with salicylic acid so if you have breakouts often and your pores is open you have a lot of oil observation so this is the moisturizer you should be using with salicylic acid salicylic right yes okay so first thing first by the way i already applied the moisturizer and i already did my my skincare things i'm just gonna quickly tell you what i used so i washed my face with CeraVe CeraVe? CeraVe um it has salicylic acid in it i didn't bring it here but who don't know CeraVe um after that i apply my eye cream i mean any eye cream you have you can apply after that i apply vitamin c on my face as you can see it's empty i have to get one tomorrow today my pharmacy is closed tomorrow i'll get one um after that i apply salicylic acid glycolic acid and elastic acid you need that for oily skin and i have oily skin okay enough now i'm gonna take care of my lips this is the only thing that's stopping from cracking because i don't have any injection in my lips i'm actually thinking about it because i'm tired i'm tired of my lip being dry and not puffy enough but i'm afraid i kind of experienced it a long long time ago and you know what i do that's why I didn't put anything in my lips for a very, very, very long time. Now we're gonna use Cetaphil sunscreen, SPF 30, oily sensitive skin, oil absorbing moisturizer. Love it. I love it how it feels on my skin. If you have oily skin, that's the sunscreen you, sorry, that's the sunscreen you want to use. If you're like swimming somewhere and you're on the sun, you should be using something more powerful than 30, I'm sure. You see how my skin gets red immediately after touch? It's because my skin is sensitive. sorry for my manicure I did the cleaning yesterday cleaned my house did the ironing so manicure is gone don't worry my hands it's clean okay my sunscreen that's what I use for before applying my makeup 
I don't apply anything else. It feels heavy. I don't like it. I don't like it. So that's it. You should do what it feels okay with your skin, I believe. Now, this is something that, as you can see, it's gone. There's still something, but I cannot reach there. So this is Forever Skin Glow Dior. My tone is, I don't know, but it's very light. 0 0.5. I'm super, super white. I wish I could be a little more, a lot darker, <laughs> but that's fine. So, until I'm waiting for my sunscreen to get sealer on my face, let's say, I have our Giorgio Armani two bottles. One is super white, one is a bit darker. So, I just mix, mix them together whenever I feel like I want to get a bit more darker. I add a little bit more when I know it's my neck gonna be naked and I don't want this balance between my face and neck. I use most of, most of the time this one. And the tone is 2 and this one is 6.5. It's pretty dark for me. But let's see. Probably finishing also. I'm applying on my wrist. Yep, you need to wait. Oh, I hear you. Okay, it's too much. I just by accidentally put too much. This is not normal. And we're just gonna get beep this much. Make sure it's clean though. There is it that I'm always using. Right here. And I'm just gonna mix it like that until I see one color. This is enough. I have a brush. This is NARS. It's actually not a foundation brush. I just like how small it is. I don't like big brush for foundation. So we're just gonna get there. I forgot I have my mirror here. Otherwise, I won't be able to see. in the end of my makeup you you look did she apply something I mean I like when it's very very little and after that I'll have to wash it off because I'm gonna go to gym okay so if you feel like it's not enough I mean if I feel like it's not enough I'm just gonna dip again and apply a little bit more like right here yeah don't forget your ear okay we're gonna go to this side now Okay, with this chick, I'm less friendly because it just keep disappointing me more than my right one.
Okay. There is something. Okay, now I have to step back just for a second to see more clearly. Okay, I think this is enough. What do you think? See, I told you I applied too much and I still have like lots of foundation. But that's fine. Yeah, I'm happy with that. Okay. I have to wipe it off. Okay. So, quick look. On the tan. Settle down a bit. Now, I'm going to use concealer. And it's maybe didn't fit me. I, I like it. It's very, very affordable. And I think it's... It's okay. I mean, I never had a problem with that. Okay. I never apply it too close to the eye. Just because I don't like it when it's built up in your lines under your eye. We all have them. You know. Okay, so I have a very sensitive area right here. And right here. Under my lip. Not very sensitive, just I like it. Okay. Strangely, there is no people to cover. I have a scar on my cheek right here. And I'm not covering anymore. I don't know. I mean, I'm trying my best to really get rid of it, but. As you can see, my skin is glowing. It's my oily skin. I didn't put anything to make it glow. I only like it when I have to go out or on my daily life. I like it when it gets a little glossy. It looks healthier than when you have so much powder on. But while I'm filming, I don't like this gloss. Like at some point it just gets too glossy. I have to use powder, which I normally don't use it in my day life. Only for a video, we're gonna get there. Okay, so I'm done with my concealer and I think yeah, it's fine. You know, we covered a little bit 
of darkness under our eye. See this concealer? It does good job. Okay, so now we have to choose. I have this palette, Makeup Forever Professional Palette, and we have ooh, lots of lots of. Always forget what is this. Okay. Or actually, today I'm going to use this. 24 hour max studio fix uh, concealer which is waterproof and what I do is I did with foundation I'm just gonna apply a little bit on my wrist just like that maybe a little bit more okay So we have to wait until it just dries a bit. <laughs> a bit more. Okay. Now we're just gonna get a bit. You see, I kind of blend it in into my wrist from one corner. That's much I'm taking. And then after that, I'm just keep checking. That I didn't take too much. Maybe everything I'm saying right now just doesn't make any sense, but it does to me. Oh, forget my mirror. Okay, so you're just applying. Do you see anything? I think it's just the redness from me punching my cheekbone non-stop well it might be <laughs> just need to take a bit more okay now yeah, now it's visible more and now whatever you have you just blend it up right there a little bit under a little bit on your ear and a little bit on your neck. We have to make it one piece, right? You're doing the same thing on the other side, and you know what? One side always go good, and then you mess it up. Kind of uncomfortable right now. Okay. This one got here a bit faster. favorite part is my forehead it's not that I like my forehead it's just when you get a bit tan you know it just looks much nicer look like more you're lazy right okay and I do pinch a bit with the same concealer my nose so let me show you how waterproof this is I mean of course I got some but it still stays you see and you have to wipe it a lot in order to remove it so if I leave it for a while it will really gonna be difficult to get rid of just with the cotton 
um, sponge, cotton. Okay. So what I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna work with my nose. Okay, I have a brush like that, a brush like that. Oh, I did a mistake. I shouldn't get rid of this because I was gonna work with my nose, but I can use this one. Makeup forever. I think it's a structure palette, right? So we just get a little bit of this tone right here, just like that. And then we're gonna check, okay. Oh, I'm lost, I need a mirror. I don't know where to look. Okay, it's the first time I'm doing this video probably. So, give me time. It actually takes much faster in, uh, how to show you that, what I'm doing in a daily basis, because I have my mirror in front of me, you know. You see that? It's probably not straight. You're just gonna go with your finger. I'm just gonna blend it in. I mean, just a little bit. So, when I'm tanned, and actually I forgot when the last time I've been tanned because I'm trying to heal my skin and I'm trying to run from sun. So, I don't know when in the future I'm gonna ever get tanned. So, what I do, this is actually how I get tanned, and I love it. Like my tip of my nose get tan somehow, my sides of my nose get tan, my forehead. But it's not the time, so we have to get artistic. And we just blend it. You see, I didn't change the shape of my nose. I just highlighted it more, let's say. <laughs> and this is a little bit lift your nose up. Okay. So now is my favorite part. As you can see, this blush is a mess because I haven't been using them for a lot. I have a brush like this. I'm gonna use my little bit of that and a little bit of that. Is here. I'm just gonna kneel down. It might look a lot, but I don't know, it's this lightning. it off. I don't want to use powder. Okay, we 
grab a little bit of more peach tone Highlighter, liquid highlighter. I'm just gonna apply on the top of my lip, a little bit on the tips of my nose, just a little bit right here, and very little right here. Even though I'm, I, I don't need that. I also like to do it right here. Only the bad thing about it, if you have structure of eyes like I do, you see, like you basically don't see the my eye when it's open because of this okay I need to learn how how you call it um so whenever I close my eyes I can see the line of the highlighter build up inside but that's not my fault it's um my face structure so okay <sighs> of course we are missing up a little bit on eyebrows going to do now. I love to work with my eyebrows because I love my eyebrows. I don't tweeze my eyebrows like I do in your video. I mean, when we see each other. You know, when I do your eyebrows. Um, so I just brush them up. Brush them up. They're so unsymmetrical. Non-symmetrical. Not symmetrical. But I like them anyway. So, I don't draw my whole eyebrow, I just see the, the place where it's needed to be get, it needed, needed to get filled a bit And the way your eyebrow is And you know, you don't change the shape with the Because I think it's the best best way to not mess with your face, the eyebrows. It's very important. This way. It's comfortable for you to see. I'm done. I like it. That's enough. Hmm. Okay, my friend. So you have freckles. I'm jealous because I don't and I love them. That's why I do this. This is actually my bird marks. I have them. But they're like they're getting darker with the sun. But when I'm super pale and white, you basically don't see them. So I'm just highlighting them because I think they're beautiful. And I didn't have freckles for a very long time. So I do that with my eyebrow pencil. Yeah, it's gonna wash off very quickly with my oily skin. But if you have, for example, brown eyeliner, you can just get a very thin brush. And first you go with the pencil. It just looks more organic. Goes with the pencil and then take a tiny brush like that deep to your eyeliner and just apply it and then blend it with the finger on the top and you have a freckles long lasting freckles my eyebrow my eye brown eyeliner 
finito. I don't know how I never used it for eyes. I always use it for freckles. But it's finished, so I need to get a new one. And I lost. Okay, I lost it. I lost it. Um, uh, benefit 24 hour brows. 24 hour brow settle. Very much. And it's just, I think for a brow setter, it's kind of expensive, don't you think so? done. So, what else did I mean? Huh? Okay, so I have a powder. I use this bottle just because it's comfortable to use, but it's mm -hmm. not nukes. I don't use nukes and I don't recommend to use nukes. So, this is the powder. I think it was... Um, like that. So I dipped in just a bit and see camera I can't really share. Just a bit. You see, I apply very little, and you still see my oily skin, which I'm okay with. Lately, imagine how many powder I use, how much powder I use when I film. You have no idea. So, I think I'm done. I don't want to do anything with my eyes or my lashes because I need to color them. Yeah, and I need to a little bit. There's a word I was forgot. Okay, this is not important. So my makeup is done. That's how I. That's what I use, and that's how I do it. I hope you like it. And please don't forget if you have oily skin and large pores, you must get this. Please, or at least make a research and see what you're gonna come across with or try trust me and try love you wish you a great day night